session. This is session 10 of the NBA playoffs review. And we are in the finals, like I concluded last video. We are in the finals, and man, oh man, the Nuggets versus the Heat, game one. Now, game one, the Nuggets look like they were the better team, but also the Heat looked like they were tired. So the Heat came in the game off of game seven against the Celtics. They looked tired, bro, but they still were in the game. They still were in the game, and they, I think they only lost by 10. So game one is really like a throwaway because it's like not much really happened. Like by the third quarter, you can see, okay, the Nuggets, they're going to win this game. Like Because like I said, the Heat looked tired. Now going on to game two, that's when it starts to kick in. That's when everybody on Twitter or social media is like, oh, 11 million people is now watching the finals. Maybe this isn't such a boring finals. It never was going to be a boring finals, bro. Like the difference between the Suns versus the Bucks in the NBA finals, I thought that was going to be a decent finals but it was pretty boring because the bucks were obviously the better team i mean Giannis versus devin booker i'm taking Giannis all day as far as leading a team to a championship and that's what Giannis did but this is a little different we have storylines here um Giannis himself was the only story but this it like it's a few different stories here it's a Jamal Murray story it's a Jokic story it's a Denver Nuggets story it's a Jimmy Butler story it's a Miami Heat as a whole story it's a undrafted free agents getting signed by the Heat and if they win a championship story so it's like it's so many stories out here for this NBA Finals, and that's why it's been, that's one of the reasons why it's being watched. Another reason why it's being watched, honestly, in my opinion, is it's two good teams, bro. It's two of the, it's two of the best teams, or two, yes, two of the best teams in the Finals right now, and the two best teams in the, in the Finals are here, the Heat and the Nuggets. Now, at me as a Lakers fan, I can go back and forth and say oh the lakers should be here but not really because when i look back at the lakers series they were not able to close out no games i keep saying the lakers were close the lakers were close they were but they weren't able to close out any game so the nuggets were the better team um but game two game two the heat the heat came back firing firing on all cylinders uh, they figure out at the end of game one that that zone was going to work for them. So it worked in game two. The Heat came out hungry like they wanted it, and they did want it. They came out with the win. Um, Jimmy Butler played his butt off. Uh, Anna Bio played his butt off. Vincent. Vincent is a story. I love his shooting form, by the way. Like, Gabe Vincent, bro. Like, his shooting form is pretty, pretty pure. So, like, if he's left open, he's hitting it. And you you see he hit the shot and gave, I don't know what what do he gave the face to, but some he gave somebody the face, like, you sure you, you don't want to step up a little bit more? Like, come on, bro. But that whole supporting cast did well for the Heat and, um, this whole notion that they made Jokic a scorer, I mean, you can say that, but he's already a scorer. He's already a passer. He's already, he can do whatever he wants. He just had to do that at the moment. So he seen Murray wasn't hot. He seen uh, Porter wasn't hot. Uh, this whole series, to be honest, KCP, where you been at? You was, when you played your old team, the Lakers, you was hot. You, you had a 20-point game one of those games. Like, you ain't you ain't averaged nothing less than 10 points. You ain't had nothing less than 10 points all while you was playing the Lakers. But now nah, it's six points. It's three points. It's Where you at, KCP? Uh, the game four, you better, you better show up. Because I, I stand on this notion that a lot of teams, I, this is how I feel as a Lakers fan. A lot of teams, when they play the Lakers, 
they they show up and show out. They tie their laces a little bit different when they play LA. But that's just me. But back to the finals. The Heat, like I said, the Heat came to play and they won game two. So I'm clapping. I'm with my dad, my brother, and my sister. We watching it on the TV outside. We enjoying the weather. We we hype. We like, okay, it's, it's going to be a series. But it it might be back and forth because I did hear somebody say, get, give their opinion that said, they said it's going to be back and forth. And it's I didn't think it was going to be like that. But... The way the Nuggets play sometimes, um, if they're missing shots, they're, uh, they look less of a team, really. And on the Miami side, going on to game three, the reason they lost, they weren't making shots either. So I think both of these teams are predicated on shot making. You feel me? Like, Jokic can carry them to a win, um... In a, probably in a regular season, as far as carry the Nuggets team, he can carry them to win in a regular season. Maybe one playoff team, but the playoff game. But this is the finals. I don't think Jokic could do that. That's why Game Three, Murray and Jokic both had triple doubles, bro. And I think they both had thirty point triple doubles. That's insane, bro. That's insane, insane, insane for you to. For you to have to beat the Miami Heat, they the Heat only lost by like 10, bro. But for you to have to beat this Heat team with multiple undrafted players that do become the play, I'm not saying that to uh, diminish anything they doing, but undrafted players, Jimmy Butler and the bio, they ain't really got a big man, Cody Zeller. He he looked like uh, what Shaq say, barbecue chicken out there when he trying to guard Jokic. So thirty, it was it just blew me away that y'all both need thirty point triple doubles in order to beat this Heat team. That's telling me something about the Heat. So even though the Nuggets did win Game Three, I applauded them for that. Every time the Heat was coming trying to make a run. Guess who was stopping them? Jamal Murray. And I think that's the key to the Nuggets winning the championship. Like, if say if he got injured, God forbid, knock on wood, I don't think Jokic would be able to carry them to win the championship. So you need Jamal Murray. Every time that he came, try to make a run, Jamal Murray. Every time Jimmy Butler come down with a little floater, Jimmy Butler get fouled, go to the line. You feel me? They getting free throws. The Heat getting free throws. Jamal Murray come back down. <laughs> Easy. So it's like he is really the head of their snake, bro. He is going to get them to this championship, this ring, bro. They have, what, two more games left to win. And Miami has three more to stop them. So I think... Going with uh, what I did hear a person say, like I just said, it may go back and forth. So it may be Nuggets win one, Heat win one. Nuggets hit win one, Heat win one. So it may come down to game seven. The way it's looking like and the way these teams are battling, bro, it's going to come down to a game seven. And the Heat, just, just for future reference, y'all need to double Murray every play. Y'all need to figure out uh, that zone that y'all are running. Because y'all don't really have a big man to guard Jokic like that. Y'all need to tighten up that zone and double team Murray on every play. Maybe not in the first half because, like, y'all do well of holding teams. Y'all pretty bunch of fourth quarter teams. So I think the second half of every game this series, y'all should double Murray every play and live with it. Real talk. Live, live with that. And stop letting the uh, – what's his name? Brown Brown. Stop letting him cut that white boy that was that had like 13, 15 points on y'all. Stop. Because that's how you lose. That's how you lose for real. Like, if you lose like that to him, all right, now, what we doing? If I'm Jimmy, what we doing? Come on. Now, you seen the back cut. I'm over here trying to double Murray, and he back cut for the... Come on, bro. But he... I believe y'all can do this. Y'all can pull this off, but... Y'all just got to make some adjustments. But Hall of Fame coach Eric Spocher, I believe he will. And going into game four, I'm excited. I'm excited to see this series. This is a series no one 
thought um, would be this good, but it is. It's it's a good series, bro. Like it ain't the worst in here history that people said it was gonna be. So let's let's cut all that out. It's a good series, and game four here we come. Game changes. I'm out.